Why do you hate wearing gloves so much? <laughs> How come you didn't throw it on the ground? You only throw them on the ground for effects for the videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Two, Two brothers, brothers outdoors. outdoors. Shush. Two brothers outdoors. Now you may continue. <laughs> now I can talk? Go ahead. Alright guys, so you know on the last video we hit 10,000 mark and then suddenly it dropped down to 998. <laughs> 99, 8, which one of our friends were messing with us? So <laughs> Which one of our which one of our friends that are subscribers unsubscribed for a little while <laughs> to drop it below ten thousand? Oh, that's funny. You think it would be one of our friends that on face on on? Uh, yeah, they would never do YouTube. That, no, they would never do something like that. <laughs> all right, but we are back up over ten thousand again. Thank you very much to all of our subscribers, even the ones that like to mess with us. Two thumbs up, guys. Thank you. All right. Um, you wanted to mention. The new mill Hudson's coming out with. Yeah, I'll do that closing. Do the closing? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. It's not as warm today as it was yesterday. Still got some snow on the ground. Not bad. It's probably 48 degrees. We are going to slice up this maple to put it in the box. We got a nice little big branch that came off here. So I suspect it's a hard maple. So I suspect we might find some curly maple right in here. Something. With that crotch, that's going to make a nice end table for somebody who'll buy all of them for end tables. Well, that last cherry we just cut up had some ambrosia in it. That yeah. Was, that was cool. Well, I think ambrosia in the maple is kind of like the start of rot, <laughs> <laughs> but it is not soft. But that cherry was full of stress, and it split pretty good. Yeah. We actually got a lot of good pieces out of it, though. We did. All right, guys, so we're going to whack up this maple into slabs, put it on the trailer, put it in the box, and take some pictures of all our slabs because the box is getting full again. Yep. Start advertising. Yep. We cut a bunch of uh, hardwood dimensional lumber, did some uh, quarter sawn. I, and the quarter sawn maple went quick. Yep. But the rest of the stuff we've done is just, we get a lot of inquiries, but nobody just seems to be pulling the trigger on it. Oh, and the garden boxes that are the uh, yeah garden above box. ground garden boxes or flower boxes, what you want. Not so good. They didn't do nothing yet. They're not selling. <laughs> we got we got one new. We got one inquiry, and the lady's like, "I want them all. Just text me, please, and I'll make arrangements to come get them." So I text her. Yeah. And then I told her that we'll be home after a certain time. She can come get them, blah, blah, blah. And she says, oh, great. Can I send you a code so I know you're real? Scam alert. Scam alert. Now, when scam somebody alert. says, can I send you a code? Scam alert. It's a scam. <laughs> so I sent her a code back. You want to know what kind of code I sent her back? Scam alert. Bink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, guys. Let's get sawings on. Oh, you know what? Lumberjack, before you have the major catastrophe like I did, I will, yes. take, I will take care of this for you. Yeah, notice. See this right here? These are stops. <laughs> See, stops move. We have to put them in to put a log on the uh, on the uh, mill. Yeah, your should go all the way out to the pond. <laughs> when Tim got in a big rush on that one flitch, short off a little bit. You went too far. Yeah. The mill went off, but... <laughs> To be fair, it was my job to flip him back out when he pulled the trailer out, and I didn't do that because I forgot. Well, he was too worried about carrying those heavy flitches, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fix you. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get sawn.
expected some uh, little maple just below this big limb. I don't see anything yet. Nothing yet. Some ambrosia right here. See that? Not a lot, though. Oh, we got just a little bit right here. Curly? Oh, yep. yeah. A little bit of curly right here. That's going to look yep. nice on the end table, though. Yep. Guys, it's very important to scrape maple because if you leave sawdust on maple, it will stain it. Oh, look at that. That is looking nice now. Yeah, we got some nice, nice figuring right here. All right. We're going to roll this log, put these on the trailer, roll the log, and finish it up. This is pretty light compared to the hemlock. <laughs> pretty bad when hardwood is lighter than hemlock. All right. Let's see if I can figure out your funky dogs. It's just like yours. Not bad. That's no, a, it's not just like mine. You got little hooks and doodads. I don't. It's a fact, Jack. Hard maple, this is pretty light. Yeah. Or it's just a real man turning it. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're gonna have to board this side there, bud. Right. Come on back. Um Yeah, we can do that. There we go. You know what? You got something long enough to that'll work right there. Perfect. You don't have to go all the way across, just slam it over there. Uh, that'll work like that. Yep. Right. Perfect. Just let it lay. That's good. Alrighty. Let's finish this cut up.
And when that piece comes off of there, just like it's yours, when yours did it, it hit the shroud, scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> thought you broke the blade? I thought I broke the blade. And you know I very seldom break the blade. And guys, you missed it. While Rick was cutting, Tim brought a flitch down to the flitch pile. And I slipped and fell. I broke my fanny. Look! <laughs> Maybe we should do a video on logging boots. <laughs> They're just not sawing the snow. How about that? All right, guys, this is what we ended up with. Now, these pieces right here, these pieces with this limb in there, right here, people will take those and make end tables out of them, lamp stands. Um, they also make those little tables that go to the base of stairs, along the side of stairs. I don't know what you call them. Put knickknacks on them. But I love hard maple. This is the one that the woodpeckers eat the top out of it. We got three good logs out of that, didn't we? I think we still got a small one laying up in the woods. I got one over my mill. Do you? In my log yard, yeah. Yeah. I don't think we got like an eight inch laying up there yet. Yeah. All right, so hard maple there too, isn't it? on our next video, yeah, that's a hard maple there. On our next video, I got three spruce logs. I'm building a kayak and I cut down a couple spruce and sawed them up into uh, slats to use on the bottom sides and top of the kayak. These logs have been laying there four years. Four years. And you see the bark's peeling off of them. I'm gonna take the bigger one of the logs, next video, put it on the mill, and see if we have any kind of bug invasion in there and if there's anything I can use out of these logs. I didn't mean to let them sit there that long, but they did. about those you can almost feel the wood grinding huh making adjustments. Okay guys, this uh, hard maple really put out some really nice wood. Unimus Smacksmith. It is. Super wet. We cut this one down in the fall. <laughs> it's yeah. green. I mean, it's really green. Oh, yeah. I think if we left it laying out in the sun, it would grow limbs on it. Probably. Have shoots coming off of it. But it's going in the box, and uh, people love this stuff. Yep. Take some pictures and start advertising the slabs again. At one point, we quit selling slabs because we just weren't getting any interest in them. And then all of a sudden, we had a couple of wholesalers that Took everything we had, we filled the box again, they took it again. So, maybe and third time's a charm. 
Yeah, I didn't hear anything back from either one of them, so I'm thinking they must have uh, got their fill. All right, guys. So, didn't you want to talk about? Oh, the, by the way, yeah. Talk about the new mill Hudson came out with. Yep. Came out with a uh, Oscar 528. It's got the uh, new lifting bale on it, electric start motor. I think it's a 14 horsepower plus that I saw on the. Yeah, I think I read too that it's built really heavy. It's heavy duty built. Yeah, so it's. I guess it's uh. 428 on steroids <laughs> i think it cuts i think it cuts so, a wider cant than it could have uh, a wider mouth on it yeah i think it's got a wider mouth than the 428 as well but i think it still same rides on the same track as mine does on yeah the patriot so but uh yeah guys check that out i mean uh, i don't know i can't tell you how much it costs or anything i don't no. know but it's uh something new that hudson's come out with well the oscar mills are there heavier line of mills. The top line, yeah. yeah. And top line mills. Really well-built mills. If you've seen all the modifications that we've done to our mills, we basically turned our mills into Oscars. Yes. <laughs> Unbeknownst to us. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so, but uh, yeah, check out the uh, check out the Oscar 528. That's a cool looking little mill. Yeah, you probably would have bought that if they had that back when you bought your paper. Absolutely. I would have bought that one. So. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this video for today. Next video, I'm going to take those uh, spruce logs and put them on the mill and see if we can get anything out of them. They've been sitting on the ground for four years. Maybe I'll use a aggressive 14 degree blade book yeah. for it. <laughs> All right. So if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscription button right there. Also, hit that thumbs up right wow. here, right there. Yep. Every single one of them helps out our channel. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Every one of them helps out our channel, and uh, we appreciate each and every single one of them. So keep them coming, guys. We, we very, very much appreciate those likes. Notifications bell. You do not want to miss any of our future videos. And if you have, you go back to the past and watch our playlist. And if you like our videos, watch this one right here. I think you'll enjoy that one, too. Yeah. That'd be cool. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along with us. Until the next one, we will catch you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. There you go.